the session is about working with data data is the foundation on which machine learning models are built managing data centrally in the cloud and making it accessible to teams of data scientists who are running experiments and training models on multiple workstations and compute targets is an important part of any professional data science solution in this lecture we'll talk about two azure machine learning objects the data stores and the data sets first we need to create a workspace and before the session i have created the workspace wsag and it is blank so we can see it here while it is loading is yes, it has loaded only thing what i have done is that i have downloaded the config.json file which is present here it has got the subscription id resource group and workspace name we will use this to connect to the workspace so let's connect to the workspace in this notebook before that you would require this azure ml data set runtime and it must be up to date i have already done it so i will not run it so i start with connecting to the workspace okay before we jump into it i would just like to go into the workspace and the workspace once created comes with two data stores automatically this is the default data store and this is the file store so when i go into here i can see that it has an account name which is here and if i go into here i can see that there is a storage account associated with it so i have a blob container which is out here which you can see down here as well as you can see the file shares which is down here so it is an azure ml file store which is here so this is what it is said at the very first so what we would do in this cell is that we are printing the default data stores so you are having the workspace blob store and a workspace file store i would upload the data into the uh, data store so let's do that once i upload it so this is uploaded and if we can go into the blob store in the file store it is not there but it is in the blob store so let's go down here okay in the containers in the blob store we will find the data which is uploaded here we see that two files are uploaded okay now when we work with a data set what is a data set a data set is a versioned reference to a specific set of data that we may want to use in an experiment data sets can be tabular or file based so what we would do is that we would create a tabular data set from the data store that is there so this is a default ds and we are getting the default data store we are creating a tabular data set from the path on the data store and we are displaying the first 20 rows of the data frame this is a tabular data set so once we have created the tabular data set we can see it in our workspace so let's jump into our workspace uh, don't know whether it is there or not so let's open the workspace again i just close the other windows so you will have the data stores out here and you have the data set so till now there is no registered data set we are also creating a file data set so 
file data set we will create it in the same manner by executing this data set dot file from files. So once we have done this we will register the data set using the tab data set dot register we provide the workspace name we provide the name of the data set the description the tag and the create version is equal to true. Similarly, the file data set is also created. We have separate names for the tabular data set as well as the file data set. So let's do it. Once we do it, once it is complete, we will go back and see that it is in the workspace. So let's go back and see it in the workspace. If I refresh it, Yes, you can see that I have just created the data set out here. So the data sets are registered in the workspace. We can print the data set names in the workspace down here and we are getting it. Now what we can do is that we can train a model from a tabular data set. Let's try to do that. We create a folder from the experiment files. Now, if you are following the lectures before, this is the same training set, but the difference is that here we are passing the input data as an agreement, as an argument, and it is the table data set. So here you see that the difference is that there is the input data here, and we are passing the training data set. Apart from these two arguments, we would pass the regularization hyperparameter which is there and these are the things that is going into the data set. Just for the sake of completeness, we will walk through the training file once again. So the first thing is get the arguments. The What are the arguments? The arguments are the regularization hyperparameter and the input data set. And next what we do is that we get the experiment run context. Once we do that, we are getting the input data set and we are converting into a pandas data frame. And then we are separating the features and the labels. So what are the features? If I just make it a little bit better formatting. So this is the X, the features and Y is the labels. So we split the data into the training and the test set. We train the logistic regression model using the regularization parameter. You see the regularization parameter which is here and we calculate the accuracy and we log also the accuracy. The logging of the metrics we have seen in the previous lecture. Similarly, we calculate the AUC, the area under the curve and we log it and we also save the model in the form of a pickle file. So, Let's run it. If you have not run it, yes, we have not run it. So let's run it. Okay. The next part is interesting. Next part, what we will do is that we are using the environment YML file. We are getting the data set, which is diabetes data set we are getting from the workspace. So where is the diabetes data set? The diabetes data set is here which is a tabular data set which we are from the workspace which we would get. Similarly, in the script config, what we are doing is that we are combining the environment file, we are combining the script file, we are combining the argument and in the argument once we go deeper, we find the regularization hyperparameter and the input data which is the reference to the data set. What data set we are using? We are using the diabetes data set. What is the diabetes data set? The diabetes data set is a tabular data set which is in my registered data set in the workspace. So let's run it. It might take some time. Okay. While it is taking some time, what we would do is that we would register the trained model. So it is running. Let it run. And in the meantime, what we will do is that we will um, explain the registering the trained model. So you, you know that we have saved it in the model 
diabetes model dot pickle file and we would register the model with the model name the tags the tags are important and with the properties so these are the things that you see the properties how we have done it is a dictionary you can see it is a dictionary it has got two elements the AUC and the accuracy and it has a name value pair the name is AUC the value is from the run dot get matrix and similarly once we get the model from the model we are printing the tags as well as the properties let's see whether it is completed so it is completed let's go back here and see in our workspace so you see in the experiments if I go here the run is completed it is completed and let's also in the meantime uh, run run this part of registering the model so it is registering the model so it is registered and we can find the registered model out here so models are here you can see the registered model if you double click on it what happens is that you see the tags the training context the tabular data set and the properties which are there so it is all in one space so now what you have to do is that you have to train the model from the file data set so the file data set where it is it is it is in the azure file share so these are the things which is down there so what we do is that we are creating the training file and now what we are doing is that we are getting the diabetes file data set we are using the script run config and then we are getting the experiment and we are submitting the run we are submitting the experiment and we are getting the run so it is the same thing as the tabular data set the only difference is that we are using the file data set here diabetes.ds as named input training files as download so this is this is the thing that we are using the diabetes dot diabetes ds what is diabetes ds it is a diabetes file data set so if you go back here to the workspace and you go to the data sets you see the diabetes file data set so this is what we are referencing here and instead of the tabular data set we are using this so let's run it so while it is running also we will walk through the next cell the next cell is the same as that only thing here we are registering a different model Mo model difference is very uh, the same as the other model only difference is that we are using the model trained with the file data set let's see whether this has been completed or not it is it is finalizing so we can see it here experiments so this is the same experiment and so this is a run to which is finalizing most likely you can see the matrix yes we can see the matrix the matrix are all the tags is also here so so this is the second run and if you go back so this is all completed now the next part is that registering the model as we have explained let's run it okay so this model is also registered what is the difference between the previous model that we have registered and this model the more the difference is that previously we had used a tabular data set now we are using a file data set so how is it tracked so let's go back to the workspace and if you go to models which is here 
you can see that there are two versions and if you just see that we have got different tags but because the data set is the same and the accuracy metrics and the area under the curve metrics are the same. So we have got two models it is all versioned and it is the whole set is available to us. So what did we learn through this lecture? We learned that you have a default data store which can be a blob store as well as uh, a, a file share and we can register data sets out here. We can have a tabular data set and a file data set. We can train models and we can have different models using the different data sets. So that's it for this lecture. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.